I'm going to show you the basics pretty quickly of how to create a clipping layer. Now with the clipping layer, what you put on the bottom comes through. So I'm going to try some text and I'll just spell out flower and doesn't matter what color it is, you can pick any kind of a font that you would like for it. Okay, I'll make this larger over here. Flower, I'll put it on the flower and I'll select my text again and remember when you have your text selected, oh I made an extra layer, when you make an extra layer like I just did, just throw it into the garbage. Select your original A layer and try to activate it again and now I have the text warp tool on and I'll put maybe this little flag warp and I'll say okay and there it is and now I'll put it behind the text, okay? I have it behind the text so then I go to with my cursor between the two layers right between the two layers and I right click and I go create a clipping mask and there it is flower now if I want to change this around I can select the text and I can move it and you see I'll get different areas of the flower if I want the dark or the light or there you are flower just like that transform controls I can make this larger if I like I can click this so that I do it in proportion I'm making it larger and I can say yes I accept it take off the controls but see a clipping mask is very flexible can move it around and if you want to release it you can do that you can release the clipping mask or if I back up again, step backwards, or I can merge this down and it'll be part of this layer. Merge visible and now this is my layer and I've created this custom effect with my text by using a clipping mask. Remember, the clipping mask, what you want to be your mask, you put underneath of the image.